Hello and welcome to this dev diary for Together for Victory, the first expansion for Hearts of Iron 4. This is an expansion where we focus on the Commonwealth and the Allied side of the war. One of the biggest changes in Together for Victory is the new autonomy system. This is a system that takes the old master puppet relationships and breaks it down into multiple levels, which means that you're going to get more power as a master. For example, you'll be able to recruit colonial troops as well as building your puppets. And also as a subject, you get a lot more power in being able to actually climb the ladder towards freedom. And this ladder goes all the way from basically being able to deploy next someone all the way up to freedom. And in between there, you have colony, dominion, integrated puppets. And all of these levels will play slightly differently and give different powers to the different sides. Together with the new autonomy system, we have fleshed out all the Commonwealth nations. That means that we take the eight focus trees of the original base game and add five new ones. Canada, South Africa, India, Australia, New Zealand. And for each of these nations, you will both have a support of the historical path, as well as really interesting alternate history paths. As India, for example, you can decide to play the nationalist army side of things and try to get help from the Soviets or the Germans and get your freedom that way. Or you could decide to support Britain fully and then earn your freedom later in the war. In the spirit of cooperation, we have two other new features. One is that you can request lend lease, which means that you can get some of that fearsome American industrial potential on your side. There's also technology sharing, which means that you can set up a program of technology sharing between nations and gain shared benefits in research. This is available both for the Commonwealth, where you have extra options for improving this, as well as in general, as long as you have a faction. Other new features include continuous national focuses, which is a new type of national focus that you unlock after a while. Unlike the regular ones, these actually give you bonus while you run them. So you can do things like get a bonus to your production or research or things like suppressing rebels and things like that. Hearts of Iron is at its core a game about war. So we have two features to help with that experience as well. One is a new spearhead command that makes it easier for you to do encirclements. And we also have a new combat log that's going to give you a detailed rundown on equipment losses, attrition, losses to aircraft, lots of statistics that's going to give you much more stuff to go on when you make your decisions. To go with the Commonwealth theme, the expansion will also include three new tracks from composer Andreas Waldetoft, as well as new 3D models and portraits for leaders. We've also done a voice recording for 13 nations, big and small, where if you play them, you're going to get the infantry actually speaking the language of those nations. Weiter! Weiter! Schlurretret! Flicked! As is Paradox tradition, the expansion will also come with a free patch called Torch 1.3. This will include bug fixes, balance, improvements to AI, but also some new features. So for example, you'll be able to configure your garrison orders to much more detail level. I'll have a new music player, a new achievement viewer, UI, and some mechanics changes as well. The Together for Victory expansion is scheduled to be released on 15th of December. So we're looking forward to seeing you on the battlefield then.